Hi everyone, today we're we'll going through some problems on the East African Mass Olympiad in 24. Here's the view of this problem. Um, there are n people sitting in a cycle, and each, of, each one of them is either a liar or a truth teller. A liar always lies, and the truth teller always tells the truth. Each person knows exactly who is lying and who is telling the truth. Um, each person says that the person sitting next sitting two spots next to their left um, is a truth teller and it is known that um, in this cycle there is at least one liar and at least one truth teller so the problem is but a to show that is it possible that n equals to 24 and for b um, is it possible that n equals to 2025 so um, this is a continuation of the problem and the and we are asked to find the possible values of, of n. So how uh, the, the approach that we use to solve this problem is that we consider um, small values for n, when n equals to n equals to two or n equals to four or three. For small values of n, then we'll try to to generalize to, <coughs> to find which values of n are possible that satisfy these problem conditions. So as you can see, we already know that there is at least one liar and at least one truth teller. So in this case, n cannot be equal to one because there has to be at least two people, one which is a liar and one which is a, is a truth teller. So in that case, and also uh, the problem says that um, every person says that the person sitting next two spots next to their left is a truth teller. So in that case, just for purposes of um, simplification, so we we'll assume that um, we we'll start for n equals to n equals to four. As I as our first small case, so for n equals to four, we have a cycle. And then we have four people sitting on this cycle. For example, now here a blue stands for a truth teller, and the red. stands for a lie. So in this case, I have arranged um, four, four people on a cycle. This blue one stands for truth tellers and for red ones, we signify the, the liars. So we try to look if this, if this cons uh, configuration of points um, is, is um, satisfying the problem conditions. So in this case, um, we have a truth teller here. And according to the statements, um, this truth teller says that the person sitting two spots next to his position, that means um, to his left. So that means um, one, then two position to his left um, has to be a truth teller. So in this case, um, this point has to be has to be a blue point. So in this case, this configuration of points is not possible. So we have to change this. From a red to be a blue point. Good. So in this case, if we look two spots in front of uh, a truth teller here, then two spots is a truth teller which satisfy um, the problem condition. But if we look at this point here. It's a liar point. So two spots to its left, that means we go one spot, then second spot has to be a truth teller. So in this case, um, each person each person see that the person sitting next to two spots to their left is a truth teller. So this person is saying that this person here, 
is a truth teller. So in this case, the statement is correct. But remember, the red point stands for a liar, so he has to lie. So this configuration of point still does not satisfy the following conditions because this is a liar, so um, the statement implies that he told us the truth, which contradicts his personality. So in this case, maybe you can change this point to be a red point. Like that, to be a red point. So in this case, we see that this, this point here says that this person here is a truth teller, which we know that it is a lie, confirming his identity, for which we say that the red stands for a lie. And so in this case, by symmetry, it's easy to see that the entire configuration now satisfies the following conditions. If you look at any point, maybe this point, then you go two steps to its right. And because it is a truth teller, when he says that this person here is a truth teller, we know that it is true because um, a blue point stands for, for a truth teller. So in this case, if you go around the cycle, um, start with a blue, then a red, then a blue, then a red, in an alternative fashion, we see that this configuration of points satisfies the following conditions that um, every person um, will say that the person standing uh, two, two, two spots to his left will actually satisfy the following conditions. So in this case, when n equals to four, it is possible to arrange these blue and red points, which um, symbolize the truth and liars in such a way that uh, the problem condition is satisfied. So for n equals to four, it is possible. So let us look at another example when n equals to five. So again, when n equals to five, Again, we have our cycle right there. And then let's say we start with there. We know that in this configuration, there's at least one liar and at least one truth teller. So in this case, um, we have to, there has to be at least one blue point and one red point. And the other points, we can color them however we like. So for example, Maybe this is again a red point, and maybe maybe here you have a blue point, and then and then another blue point, like that. So in this case, um, if we look at this point here, two spots to the right is the truth teller. So this point, um, in this case, the problem is satisfied. But if you look at this point here, two spots to the left, we have a lie. But this one here is a truth teller. So this point cannot be a red point. So in this case, we have to color this. We have to color this point as, as being equal to blue. So in this case, you can put a blue point there. But again, we have the same problem here. Two spots to the right, to the left, we have a blue point. So in this case, it is either this point has to be a blue point, but in which case all the points will be blue and then we will not have any liars. Um, contradicting the following statement that there is at least one liar and at least one truth teller. So in this case, we have to cover this point as being in the truth, as to be a red point, like that. But then again, if you look at this point, two spots to the left have a blue point here. But remember, this one has to be a liar, and so this one has to be a red point as well. So I have to raise that and replace it by, by a red point. But again, two spots to the, to the left, you have a blue point here, but because this one is a liar, um, when, when, when they say that um, the person standing next to two, two, points, two, two, two spots to the left is a truth teller, what they really mean is that that person is actually a liar because the identity of being red here is to be a liar. They always tell a lie. And again, this point, two spots to the left, you have a red point. So again, this point has to be a red point right there. Again, we, we, we run into this configuration of all red points, which contradicts the statement that there is at least at least one truth teller in this point. So there has to be at least one blue uh, point 
in this configuration. So for n equals to 5, it seems like um, it is impossible to have such a configuration of red points and blue points. But um, at this point, we have an idea of how to prove it um, based on the, on the jumps that we have described before. Whenever you have a point, so for example, we have our cycle. Again, for n equals to 5, because we know for sure that there is at least at least one, at least one truth teller, maybe this point here. So we have five spots. We have the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth spot. So we have spots here, five spots, um, all of which have to be either blue or red. Blue is standing for truth tellers and red is standing for, for liars. So because we know that there is at least one truth teller, without loss of generality, you can say that this point here is a blue point. So again, two steps to the left, that means you go one step and the second step. Because this one is a, is a truth teller, this point here has to be, has to be a blue point. This point here has to be has to be a blue point. And similarly, if we start from this point, two steps to the, to the left, that means this point here has to be a blue point. And similarly, from this point, two steps to the left has to be at this point. And from here, two steps to the left has to be a blue spot. So you see that the entire cycle will be covered in, in blue points, contradicting the fact that there is at least one liar. So it does not matter whenever you put a blue point, that blue point will, will imply that the entire cycle has to be covered by all the spots that you covered by, by blue points. Whenever you have at least one truth teller, that means that all of the points in the cycle have to be have to be truth teller, contradicting that there is at least one liar. And at this point, you can try to, 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 to notice a pattern here. Whenever you have a cycle of odd lengths, and then you keep making jumps of length two, then you will eventually cover the entire cycle um, through that through those jumps. So if instead of five, we had like seven, so we have seven spots. Seven spots. We have the first one, second one, third one, third. Whenever you start, for example, here with a blue point. And then you make two steps um, from this point um, continuously. So two steps to the left, you land at here. Again, if you start from this point, two steps, you land at here. Two steps from here, it's here. Two steps from here, it's here. Two steps from here, it's here. And then finally, two steps from this point is this point. At this point, we see that we have covered the entire cycle with blue points. And so it's easy to see that whenever you have a cycle, no matter how large, if it has um, blue points, if it is of, of uh, length of odd length when n is odd, in this case n, n equals to seven, then the entire cycle will be covered with blue points, um, contradicting the problem statement that at least one liar exists. So in this case, it is easy to see that whenever you have an uh, an odd number here, for example, when n equals to twenty-five, then um, the entire cycle will have um, either all red points or all blue points, um, which is a contradiction. So in this case, whenever n is odd, then it is not possible. That's a, as a way to, to generalize this statement. Um, you can see that in the language of, of number theory, if you write these points and then you multiply these points by two, you get another sequence of even numbers up to 2n. If you consider these two sets, Modulo n, you 
then these two sets are equal if and only if n is an odd number. Because when n is an odd number, then 2 is uh, relatively fine to n. And so this lower set here is just a rearrangement of the upper set modulo n. So these points may represent the points in the cycle. And I'm going to make two, um, the multiplication by 2 here symbolizes the, the two jump steps around the cycle. When n is odd, then this is just a rearrangement. That means at some point, you will get back to wherever you started if you make if you make keep making jumps of of length to when n is odd but when n is even then this set is strictly a subset of this number it is a set of even numbers among this set when you consider modulo n when n is an is an even number so when n is even it could be possible to cover just half of the points but when n is odd then you will necessarily cover all the all the points on the side. <clears throat> so when n is odd, it is not possible. But when n is even, you can go through the cycle and try to cover them in an alternating function, alternating fact, um, fashion like we did with n equals to 4. For example, here I already did an example on n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. For in this case, for n equals 22, I could cover them in an alternating function, in in an, an alternating function, and um, for every two steps, I covered them with the same color. So in this case, if you consider, for example, this point here is a truth teller. So two steps to the left, that means this one here has to be a truth teller. And similarize, this one here is is blue. And also, you can consider any um, layer. In this case, for example, if you consider this point, then two spots to the left, this point here also has to be a red point. So, in this configuration, this configuration satisfies the problem conditions where the blue points stand for the two stellars and the red points stand for the layer. So, this can be generalized for any n equals to even. So, when n is even, Then it is possible. By an alternating arrangement. So when you go when you go around the cycle in an alternating arrangement by swapping between the truth tellers and the liars, then you'll get a configuration that satisfies the, the problem conditions. So this for uh, our final answer will be that this case is is true, while in this case it is false. And so that will be um, our final answer for this problem. And thank you for watching.